Do I have your attention? 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 Is you taking notes? Okay, you guys, so what we have here is three large sweet potatoes that I have placed in the oven at 400 degrees and I baked them for an hour and a half. To me, you guys, baking the sweet potatoes makes the biggest difference. Try not to boil them. So what I like to do is I actually peel them as soon as they come out of the oven. And as you guys can see, it's so extremely easy. Don't try to pick them up and do it because you will burn the living daylights out of yourself. So just use two forks. The skin will come off super, super easy. And then, you know, just remove them and then place them in the mixing bowl uh, that you're going to be actually making the sweet potato pie in. Um, but as you can see, you know, that's so simple. I mean, it comes right off. It's not hard at all. But remember, that was baked in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour and a half or until your fork can go in it easily. So let's go ahead and get started. So now that we have our sweet potatoes there, I like to add one stick of butter. Now, look, this is the thing. If if you want to dirty up an extra dish, <laughs> I mean, you can. But because, as you can see, these sweet potatoes are so hot, I just put the stick of butter directly in it. And honestly, it melts it right down within a few seconds. So I would say just put the stick of butter in there. And the reason why you see me using a fork right now is just because it makes it a little bit easier when we start to use our hand mixer if I've begun the process of just breaking down the sweet potatoes just a little bit. You know, it kind of gives it that little kickstarter. If you have a hand mixer, by all, I mean, if you have a stand mixer, by all means, I only have a hand mixer. So it just works a little bit better if you kind of, you know, give it that head start and really break it down. Now, I want to talk to you guys a few seconds about the importance of making sure that your sweet potato pie puree comes out extremely smooth. Now, the interesting thing about sweet potato pies are, is honestly, you could follow this recipe to an exact tea, use all the right ingredients, use the exact same size sweet potatoes I used, you know, have the exact same oven, the same bacon pan, the same pie crust. You could have all of that. If you do not make sure that you are making sure that your puree is extremely smooth, you guys, I promise you, you are not going to enjoy it. There's something about sweet potatoes that have such a stringy texture to them. And if they're not properly, um, you know, mixed together and really broken down, you'll be able to taste it in your pie. It'll almost be a grainy taste to it. And you definitely don't want that. So what we just added in right now was a half a cup of our carnation evaporated milk. Now, just so you know, we will be using the entire 12 ounce can of the carnation milk, but we'll be putting in the rest of it a little bit later. We only added in about a half a cup right now just to help to smooth out your sweet potatoes because once again, that is extremely important when making sweet potato pies. You really wanna make sure that you're gonna get it as smooth as possible and making sure you're scraping down the sides so that everything can be nicely mixed together. So then let's start to talk about the um, seasonings that you're going to put in. Now, this is really important, so pay attention to the amount. It's one-eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, one-eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, one teaspoon of cinnamon. You're going to use one and a half tablespoons of the best vanilla you got, and then you're going to start off with one cup of sugar. We'll get into later about how much more sugar you can use later on, but that's how much you're going to use right now at this particular process. Now, you guys, if you've never worked with allspice or nutmeg, I'm going to tell you something right now. Nutmeg in particular, it can ruin an entire pie if you put too much. So this is one of those type of things where you don't want to freehand it. You don't want to freeball it. Get yourself some measuring utensils because you only want to use one eighth of that nutmeg and that allspice. I promise you, if you use too much, it's going to overpower everything. Um, and I also only use one teaspoon of cinnamon because I don't like my sweet potato pies to have too strong of a taste of cinnamon. And that's also because I use a really, really good cinnamon. So it's really potent. So that's why I only use a teaspoon. So just keep that in mind. So what we're also going to add in, you guys, is four tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. Now, I don't know if this is like a secret ingredient that I always use. I don't really know of many people that do it, but... 
I love adding sweet condensed milk only because to me, it does reduce the amount of actual actual white granulated sugar that you'll need to add because that, that does add a bit of sweetness. Now, if you really, really don't want to use that much of the white sugar, then by all means, you can use more of the sweet condensed milk. See, the good thing about sweet potato pies are is that you can taste it along the way. If you know for a fact, you guys, that you like your sweet potato pie uber, uber sweet, and if you know that you want your pie to taste almost like a piece of candy, adjust it. Add more sugar to it. Add more sweetened condensed milk. But the thing is, is that you want to make sure that there is a balance so you don't want to get too overzealous with adding too much sugar. You want to make sure, y'all, that everybody can enjoy the pie. So once again, make sure that you're taking down the size of the bowl just so that you can make sure there's no sugar sticking to the side so that everything will get mixed in. And like I said, throughout this, make sure that you're tasting it. That way you can decide at that point if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you would like to add more sugar. Now, in my opinion, I felt like it needed another half a cup. So total for this recipe, that was one full cup of sugar. Now, I will also say it will depend on the type of sweet potatoes you get. You might luck out and end up with a sweet potato that's naturally extremely sweet. So you might not need the other half a cup of sugar. You know what I mean? That really is truly up to you. I feel like I always end up using just one cup. I never need over one cup because I don't like my sweet potato pie too uberly sweet. That's just not the way I like mine. But again, that's a matter of preference. Feel free to switch it up if you need to. If you want to add more sugar to it, that is completely fine. It's completely up to you. But just keep in mind that you don't want to give people diabetes <laughs> for the holidays. And now, as you guys just saw, we went on ahead and added in the rest of our evaporated milk. So that was a 12 ounce can and we used the entire can. So we used a half a cup earlier and we just finished it up. So now, as you guys can see, it's really thinning out and we are continuing with mixing it up, making sure that, you know, we're getting it as smooth as possible because that is also really important. Now, I want you guys to go on ahead and get your oven preheated now at about 350 degrees um, because you're only going to need to bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes. It doesn't really take that long for a sweet potato pie to set. You're going to add three large eggs. Do not, y'all, I don't know when this became a thing about people putting flour and sweet potato pies. Just stop. You don't need to be adding flour to sweet potato pies. As long as you got the right amount of eggs, I always say an egg per um, sweet potato. You'll be fine. The cake will set. It won't be falling all over the place. Because I'm going to tell you something. If you mess around and put too much flour in there and you don't get it smooth, you are going to end up biting into pieces of flour in your pie. So I just tell people, just stop putting flour in it. I, I don't really know when that became a thing, but whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, uh, I wanted to mention to you guys, so for this particular recipe, and honestly, because the holiday times, ain't nobody got time to be making a bunch of homemade pie crust, I'm going to be using store-bought. However, if you want to use a homemade, buttery, amazing pie crust, click on this link that just popped up up above, and that is the video where I've shown you guys how to make your own homemade all-purpose pie crust. By all means, use that recipe if you want to make it completely from scratch so that you can show off a bit. By all means, do so. But these are pre-made, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. So like I said, pop those in the oven, 350 degrees, 35 minutes, and look. You guys, I mean, it just turns out absolutely beautiful every single time. I like to eat mine kind of cold, so I always pop mine in the fridge, but you can serve it at room temperature. Look, thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and I hope you guys try out this recipe for my sweet potato pie. And as always, y'all stay cute and take care. Bye. Simply Food by T.Y.